that isn't a map meant for surfing. Yeah. Hello, pumpkin. Shining a bright red as always is our red luster and Max back at it steals to get those last two achievements. How you doing, Max? I'm doing good. All right, so the first achievement we're gonna go for, we have to play on classic mode, and to get this achievement, we have to get all the orbs without moving forward. Mm -hmm. So our only movement options will be A. S and D. The moment we press W, it's forfeit. Yep. So this is gonna be interesting. I it's probably gonna be mostly walking backwards and strafing. Pretty much. So I don't imagine this being too hard. Classic wasn't too hard to begin with. And this is weird. Eh, I seen TF2 where people surf like this, so yeah. Apparently, if you want to surf on something, you don't hold W, you just hold A or D. Yeah, that's something I never. I never got the hang of trying to learn how to rocket surf. It's just, it's. It's too. I guess screwed into my head to press W to go forward. Yeah. Man, the only is... real thing you can surf in TF2 that I know of is in the sewers of T2 Fort. That isn't a map meant for surfing. Yeah. Hello, pumpkin. <laughs> He still laughs. God, this is disorienting. Yeah, you don't really see people <laughs> like this now, do we? No siree. I'm just afraid of backing up into the... to the thing. But you can still look around. Yeah, it's just... If I have to run... It'll be really awkward. <laughs> and so far I've been getting lucky with these orb placements. Hi! Well, at least he's not as aggressive as in hard mode. True. But, that will change soon. Ugh. Door stuck. There's so many noises. Holy shit. He was right around that corner. <laughs> yeah, I just saw him vanish. You saw his little dangly legs. Huh? Eh? What? My light started flickering, so I got worried. Oh. Well, on the upside, apparently your ass is so big it can touch it <laughs> without even being in the same room. <laughs> mm. Where is he? Okay, they're over there. I don't know if I'll make it. Yeah. Oh, balls! I'm dead. No, no I'm not! Right hey! Yeah, I you. This is this only is the only... beginning. Uh, you you're not tricking me. 
You're not tricking me into pressing forward. You can't make me press forward. Hello? Oh yeah, the... I just realized that's a phantom. Oh yeah, it is. Anyway, we got the Speaking achievement. Of... <laughs> Speaking of which... Yeah... Now to get this Arm. one, we gotta set the in-game volume down to zero. Time to play a quiet place in real life. <laughs> you know what? It's like, it's a quiet place in real life, but we're the deaf kid. Uh, <laughs> my goodness. You know what I'm talking about, right? The, the, the... Yeah, yeah, the one that needs hearing aids, but... She ended up using it as a weapon. Yeah, so we're quite literally her, but without the hearing aid. So... You, do. you still have your sight, so... Yeah. I do, and I still have the devices as well. The problem is, will I be able to react in time? Because... Mm. That's what's purely down to, is reaction speed. Can I react to things moving in time? It's, uh... Also, this is the part where I'm gonna edit in some kind of song. Or music. <laughs> what kind of music were you thinking? Oh, oh, I'm dead already. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's gotta be copyright free, otherwise I'll be in danger, so, um... <laughs> I don't know. Red, in the future. Uh, Red Luster in the future. Uh, find the most goofy song you can find for free. The goofier, the better. Whatever makes this silly. What? It's like a. There was that song they used in SpongeBob in the first episode. When he started cooking Krabby Patties. Oh, uh. Having a wonderful time? Yeah. I know that's not. I know it's not royalty free, though. Well, yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure SpongeBob has that copyright back and forth. Oh! Where is it? I, I have no, no idea. Past these chairs. I literally can't get past. Shit. I guess you're gonna have to go around. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was able to push it out of the way. I wanna know where it is. Oh man. I know the music's gonna be really goofy over this, but. This is really tense without any sound. <laughs> Can only guess where it is. I don't... I think it's standing? Oh! Okay, it went down the hallway. Alright, that's good. What also sucks is that... Can't really look at the radar without getting myself killed. Because if I look at the radar, then I won't be able to see stuff moving. Yeah. 
And what's even funnier is that he can sneak up right behind me and I wouldn't know it. This, uh... This truly is a... Oh, I'm dead. Hey, now you got your device still run for- Uh, yeah, where the heck did I put it? Uh, Alright, well... I started doing the Six Flags theme for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> They haven't played that commercial in forever. Yeah, because they don't really need to, because you no know, people just come to Six Flags. That is true. I, I guess that's just why you don't see advertisements for them anymore, like McDonald's. You don't see McDonald's ads anymore, do you? Well, you do, but they don't use Ronald anymore. Well, I, I just mean, like, you don't need to, because you already know as soon as a new movie comes out, they're going to have a new toy. Yeah, pretty much. So they don't even need to advertise they have a new toy, because, like, you already know it's there. Yeah, but they want to show kids what it is. I guess. It's, like, it's the toy. Wait, it looks cool, right? You want it? Come down to McDonald's. Get yourself a it's hamburger. Some, get yourself some diabetes hamburgers, you know, you know, the good old American way. Get some diabetes. I'm just said they uh, remove Ronald, though. Uh, well, I mean, clowns. They're not really popular anymore. Yeah, but I mean, I thought it was for a different reason, but I mean, he was, he was an icon, though. I know, but like, like I said, just clowns, just, they're not popular anymore. Most people, they're afraid of clowns anymore these days, so it's like, if you're not using clown for horror, then why have a clown? People are going to find it creepy regardless. Because he's supposed to make you laugh. Um, am I dead? No, he hit the device. I was going to say, what happened there? But, uh... Okay, I... Keep track of where he is because I don't have a device down yet. Right. So, how many more orbs? Eight. Eight. Gosh. Dang it, I thought we were closer than that. I thought we were friends, Max! What the fuck did I do? I, I was just making a joke, I thought we were closer than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I am out of devices, so now I am screwed. Now you just gotta keep running. Just keep running and running and running and running and running. I tried doing the song, but I can't do the song. That's a TV, not an orb. I have no idea where he is. Oh, no, well, I oh. know where he is now! <laughs> that's three, that's two billion, and I am dead. I am a billion dead. Die. I, I think you're about to do the yep. Yeah. I only had one more to go. Yeah, I mean, you got close. Uh, Red Luster put in a sad trombone. Come well, now I don't need to because you did it for me. <laughs> exactly. I told you I can make noises. Max, I want you to become my soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how many sounds I can make, but I can try. Well, you've already made more than four, so. Hooray. Congratulations, that's your new job. You've been promoted. <laughs> promoted from co-host of Soundboard. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, man. 
The question is, am I gonna find a song that's long enough? Because this is gonna go on for a while, so I'm probably gonna have to use more of one song. Oh! You can always loop. Yeah, the thing is about loops is they get tiresome. I guess it depends on what song you want to use, though. Well, yeah, but the thing is, copyright-free music gets tiresome quickly, because there's like... I don't know, there's like only like 10 soundtracks that are actually pretty decent in the library that I've used before. Hmm. I really have no idea when to go quiet. And this doorway is completely blocked. Can I... I can't really sc scoot my way in. No, it's just completely blocked. Is there oh. a way around? Oh. Well, you didn't unblock the doorway! I'm pretty sure you can walk through it now. Oh. Don't forget about your devices. Right, I should plop one down. Uh -uh. It's I interesting that this guy can run for hours, but yet can't hold his breath for a couple minutes. I mean, yeah, that's fair. I didn't think about that. You'd think someone that could run as long as this guy can would be able to hold his breath for at least a minute. Also, I can hear every little thing you move around. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's just like, oh, I guess that's not the game, because I know that can't be the game. Well, at least at least little dude hasn't jumped up here yet. That's uh, my cat. Oh, your cat. I was like, what are you talking about? No, I just keep a little guy in a briefcase somewhere. <laughs> Mini Max. <laughs> Get him, Mini Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think he might have ra- Might have rabies. Nah, nah, it's okay. He's also an imp. Uh, we don't check him for dental, though. No dental? Man, that, that sucks. Well, no, because he has everything he needs in the briefcase. <laughs> he's got a mini doctor, too. Oh, yeah, he's got- <laughs> It's like a- <laughs> One of them Russian- Russian dolls. <laughs> Every time you open him up, another little Max comes out. That's convenient. Oh, well, he hit the device immediately. Well, I mean, you still got one more. I do. Five. Fur. I'm gonna place it in this hallway, because that would be convenient. Oh, well... That's not charged yet. Where are you going, buddy? You coming this way? You coming this way? Okay, I'm gonna run! You go. Oh, you... Didn't count? No. Oh, that's stupid. <sighs> Once again, we are stopped just short of the finish line. I know, right? Stay quiet. It can't see you either. Well, unlike it, it can hear me. I can't hear Jack Diddley. <laughs> it has headphones on, least of the music trying to find you. It, it, he's, playing it, his, he's playing his favorite music, All Star. <laughs> he's, what is he, secretly Shrek? I mean, he does burst through everything and... <laughs> Everything like, like well, paper. So yeah, he's an ogre. He's he's an he's an ogre ghost. Uh oh. Or I guess technically he would be an oni because oni is 
an ogre in Japanese. That's also a spirit. I was gonna say, aren't Oni technically demons, not ogres? Well, I mean, they're classified as demons, but they're also sometimes called ogres. I think. As I, I need to brush up on my Japanese lore. I mean, before ah, you became the ogres. I don't have much to place to run to. Oh, he... He hit it, okay. Okay. Cool. Where are the orbs? Everywhere. Yeah, as always. You can't escape, John. I'm everywhere. Okay, Gagglefield. <laughs> Okay, the person who made it. Stomp. The first. Oh. Oh. Is he stuck? No. Nope. Oh, he's not stuck. The devices won't save you. I know. They've only saved me like half the time because you tend to attack me when I don't have one ready, or I'm too far away from it. Anyway. Uh, Chinese checkers. You ever played it? I know they use little rocks or something. Yeah, me neither. But... Pretty... Oh. But I've always wanted to try it. I literally know nothing about it. Me too! I don't even know why they're called Chinese checkers. I think because they play very differently from regular checkers. Well, they have to play similarly enough to be like checkers, because why would they call it checkers, then? I mean, we could just be calling it checkers, and the Chinese could be calling it something completely different. Oh, like China. uh... I don't know. I can't think of any Chinese words that we don't universally share. I can't really either. I am also probably going to die this attempt, because... I did not get many orbs yet, and I've already lost a device. This is hard. Eh. Max, why'd you make me do this? This is hard. You wanted to make another video. No, <laughs> I just wanted to finish the game. You wanted to milk this cow, now we're milking it. And but we're all just getting milk duds at this point, and I don't like milk duds. I prefer Twix. Yeah, fun fact about uh, milk duds, they actually have pulled my teeth out many times when I try to eat them. Huh? Oh yeah, when I was younger, I loved milk duds, but every time I ate one, one of my teeth would be ripped out. I think they were baby teeth, so oh. don't worry about it. Well... I'm dead! I'm dead. Place a device. Maybe it'll save me in time. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just get stuck on oh. everything and die a stupid death! No, charge, please! Medic! Ah, come on, man! Charge me, doctor! <laughs> Hit it, Doc! Being a medic can only have 5% over. Hit it, Doc! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. Every time. Charge me! <laughs> every time in the, the chat feed, why didn't you Uber me? Me with 7% Uber. Ha, huh, I can't give you something I don't have. <laughs> something is, it seems we had an in, at impasse. Impasse? I, I, I don't have the thing that you want. What do you want me to do? Pull 93% out of my left... Medic responds back. Medical mm, degree? Cough. No, he doesn't have a medical degree. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's how I lost my medical license. Well, at least he had one. Oh, balls. I don't know if that makes me feel better or more scared. Well... 
I mean, if he didn't have a medical degree at one point, he was never qualified. But at least he's partially qualified. And I'm dead. At least he's partially qualified. At least he, he has a better idea of what he's doing than the average Joe. You also know he also had a time when the Hippocratic Oath was just a suggestion, right? <laughs> Back when the Hippocratic Oath was more like a Hippocratic suggestion. <laughs> That's what it says for his backstory. Uh, I'm well aware. It's just, it's funny to think about because... It was because, uh, at the time, like, things were just that bad. It's like, you know what? Maybe the Hippocratic Oath is not something you need to worry about. I mean, yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's, I mean, I think TF2 takes, like, place in the 50s, right? I'm not sure, actually. I know it takes place in the past. So we're around the 50s, I think, because I know because Soldier went to Germany to fight the Nazis, but the Nazis were already disbanded in Germany. Wait, is that like part of the comic or something? Because I don't remember a voice line ever saying something like that. Oh, no, it wasn't a voice line. It was for a backstory for Soldier as well. Huh. Soldier wanted to join the, the army, but he couldn't. And so he went to Germany and started killing folks, but the war had already ended before he got there. Uh, oh! I was gonna say, he, he, he couldn't get into the army because he was too short. Oh wait, that's someone else's backstory. It, it, you get what I'm referencing, right? I think so. It, uh, I never played the game, but I did see a few cutscenes out of it. It was, um, uh... Megamind? No, no, uh... No, I, I don't think <laughs> Megamind was in the army. <laughs> no, um... Psychonauts! Oh, uh, that's... No, wait. I thought they went to a camp and you wanted to join. Yeah, no, the captain of the camp wanted to go into the military, but they couldn't let him in because he was too short. Oh, that's right. That's why he got angry and made brain tanks. Can you set two, the both devices down, or just the one? I just set one. I don't think you can place two at once. I've never tried. But, what? Oh, you're behind me! Well, that uh, dead. All right, behind you. <laughs> Spy. Oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was it was the noise heavy made before, but with him and soldier got stabbed by the red spy. Oh, <laughs> you can hear right behind you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I saw your <laughs> diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Heavy is very smart as an individual, but we've all accepted that he's dumb as fuck. <laughs> we've accepted that he likes to act like a, a like a ton of bricks is in his head. <laughs> no, it's just it's just the gerbil on the wheel. The little wheel. hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just thought it being fun. Oh, some bullshit. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Sorry. You blew out your mic as soon as you started to attack me, so I thought the sound came back on. <laughs> the sound came on for just that moment. Yeah. Where am I? I'm getting stuck on everything. I don't know where you are. Tables! Where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, probably should. I, I was, I was thinking of the heavy in medieval mode. <laughs> that's just civilian, and he's just spinning around, going. Yeah. <laughs> heavy thinks about other heavy. I just imagine heavy like. 
I imagine one day I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be in the middle of a fever dream and not even know it. And I'm gonna look in the corner of my room and there's just gonna be heavy just sitting there with a sandwich staring at me. <laughs> he's not eating it, he's just holding it, just staring at me expectantly. <laughs> Shh. Sasha is asleep. As promised, Heavy will now lay egg in your mouth! Ah, no, 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 no! Oh! No, he blocked the door! <laughs> heavy, no! Heavy, yes! Heavy! <laughs> Prepare for egg. <laughs> Uh You like Pokemon, yes? Heavy will now give you egg. Huh. How many more heavy quotes can we think of? Uh, I, I don't know. I am dead! Not big surprise. I'm dead! The Heavy is dead. <laughs> Who killed him? We don't know. I will look for clues. What's this? A weapon? This is why the Heavy is dead. The Heavy the is heavy dead? Is dead. <laughs> yes, he died! Ah, <gasps> uh, yeah, that kind of... Yeah, just kill me. That luster is dead! The Red is dead! But how? What, what would that say? Check on your eyelids? <laughs> what? I, I, all I saw was for like a split second of check under your eyelids. Check under your eyelids? What's under there? The entirety of the Meet the Medic dialogue. <laughs> and the B-movie. Oh no. But they're combined. <laughs> <laughs> and all... Laws of physics, the medic from TF2 should not be able to fly. However, the medic ignores these facts, for he is the medic. Not nah, all you think of is Putus Bird. <laughs> Putus. Putus. Put put. <laughs> Just a little. Put, put. <laughs> they are they are adorable. Uh, the bird heads were always so good, but it's a shame they never like I don't know allowed it so that people can get more of them. Oh, I think every class has a bird head now. Well, every class has a bird head, but the cosmetic doesn't drop anymore. I don't think. Hmm. I mean, a lot Maybe of old cosmetics don't drop anymore, but it's just a shame that those in particular don't drop anymore. Maybe you can get them for the contracts this year? I don't think so. They probably will try to shovel those new ones in. Yeah, I, I had a new feeling one. you were sneaking up behind me. The medic is a spy! What do you mean by new ones? I always thought it was the same ones every year. What, the same co- No, you get different uh, Halloween cosmetics every year. I, I'm talking about the contracts. Oh. Well, you get you the know, same the contracts, things... but they give you the same junk every time. I'm pretty sure the bird heads count. No, I don't... I, I, I don't think so. I mean, I know the, the bird heads are Halloween restricted, but I don't think they're in circulation anymore. I don't think I you can get them from the uh, the Halloween bags. Oh, come on! I'm not even that close to you! How can you hear my breathing from all the way over there? <laughs> I know I got asthma, but jeez, you don't gotta make fun of me for it. I'm gonna die! No! What am I getting stuck on? Everything! Oh my goodness, you were so close to. Again, I got. I, I literally only had one more to pick up. I know, right? Ah, but I completely forgot where I placed the first device. 
does the device not show up on the radar? I, I don't have time to check the radar! The radar has, like, this, like, warm-up period here. And then you have to press the button again to get it to go away. So it's just, like, it takes too long. Okay, well, you put it in the rug room. There you go. Yes, with all the other rug rats. You know, I never watched that show. I was gonna ask, do you ever watch that? I've seen some episodes. I had, had the movie where they go to uh, France. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I'm not a fan of gross-out humor, and I've seen a lot of it on Rugrats, so I was just like, nope, not for me. Oh, well, well, hey, you blew those boxes right in my face. Oh, what a lovely day in the neighborhood, a lovely day in the neighborhood, won't you be my neighbor? You didn't want to be my neighbor. How unneighborly. So do you believe the stories that Mr. Rogers was a... Vietnam soldier or whatever? I've never heard of that before. Oh yeah, he was like a tough dude, dude apparently. It wouldn't surprise me. The most gentle of people are typically people that have rough times in their life. Well, oh, well, there goes my second device. The orbs are mine! They're mine! Yeah, my father would always tell me the story of... How Mr. Rogers taught our soldiers during Vietnam hand to hand combat. Now, Vietnam, uh. Afghanistan? I wanna say Afghanistan. Mr. Rogers, he was that nice neighbor guy. I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, Bob Ross for some reason. I mean, they were both very nice people. They were very nice people. Very wholesome types of, uh, gentlemen. It's a they're shame they're gone. Yeah. But as they say, uh, good things in life never last. Like this. I am everywhere. Yes, you are. It's frustrating to deal with. Failure is part of the experience. Unless it gets frustrating. Yeah, that was one thing that I always thought, like, uh... Dark Souls. Have you ever played Dark Souls? I have seen people play it. I do not want to play it myself. I have played Dark Souls. The original, the second, the third, Bloodborne. I played pretty much all of them. Except for Elden Ring. Mm. Alright. I can confidently say... That the game does not have to be hard, unless you let it be hard. Well, I'm dead. I think you can say that about most games. Well, the thing is about Dark Souls is that there are a lot of ways to make the game significantly easier if you play certain ways. And a lot of people are going to chastise you for playing those ways, but... It just, it, it, it just depends on the kind of experience that you want. Like, I personally, when I first played Dark Souls 1, I played as a mage, and Dark Souls 1 magic is completely busted. I didn't play miracles, those were even more busted. I played magic, but having a range option in such a slow game made it a lot easier. Yeah. And, uh, in Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 wasn't much different. Magic was still really good. Miracles were kind of mediocre. They weren't, they weren't very powerful anymore by the second game, but, uh... Did I knock that down, or was that already knocked down? I think that was already knocked down. But, uh... No, the, the difficulty of the game is just primarily what you invest in. If you invest in close, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat for all encounters, then yeah, the game's gonna be harder. But, like, depending on which Dark Souls it is, 
Investing in something like miracles or magic will make the game significantly easier. Yeah, but there's still those people who want to get up close. Yeah, that, you have to. Uh, come on, you have to figure out how to deal with those in your own way. I mean, there's a lot of ways to get around those kinds of things because unless you're facing another player, the AI in Dark Souls is really predictable. Also, my cat has decided to join me. What is your cat's name? I told you, little dude. Wait, that, that's his name, little dude? Yes, that is his name. That is adorable. <laughs> Everyone thinks so. It's just, yeah. You just call him little dude, I'm like, oh, this is like your little nickname for him. He's like, what's his actual name? And she's like, no, his name is just little dude. Yeah, he's, we call him duty, little dude, you know. <laughs> duty. It's him gives his nicknames, you little buddy. Little buddy. Oh, come on! He just stood there! Alright, kill me. I have known a lot of cats in my life. And I've known a lot of different cat names. And uh, my favorite cat was George. We did have a cat named George. What color was he? Orange. The George I knew was a black cat. Well, my mom wanted us to call him Jorge, because apparently that means George in Spanish. Huh. I never yep. knew that. Yep, so if you know a George, call him Jorge. I'm pretty sure if I say that aloud, he's going to get mad at me, because he's going to mishear the first part. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... No, George was a black cat, and he was a lover boy. He was the kind of cat that... Oh, come on. He was the kind of cat that, like, you, no matter how much you would try to avoid him, he would find a way to cuddle up with you. And yeah, dude likes to cuddle a little bit sometimes. But no, George was a literal cuddle bug. Like, you'd have to pull him away from you to get away from him sometimes. And if you sat down he claimed your lap, you would have to break your own heart and pull him off your lap because he would never move if you just decide to wait for him to leave. He would never leave. He, just, he would legitimately sit there for at least four hours before getting up and it's like, George, I gotta go to work. Meow. Come on, George. <laughs> Meow. He always had like this heartbreaking cries. Like, ah, oh. he knew how to manipulate you to stay in one place for a long period of time. He was a <laughs> little bugger. Wonder, wonder if we can pick him up purring. <laughs> Yes, that did pick up. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Was... I, I, now people in the, in the, watching this video will be like, what the fuck is that? Is that a cat? I'm gonna get my cat. Meow! Meow! <laughs> Ain't no fucking cat! <laughs> that's not a cat! That's just, just you making cat noises! Meow! <laughs> Jeez, that sounds like you're trying to hack up a lung. I mean, that's what he sounded like, making the noises. Why did he do that? I don't know, it was it was just a kid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but like, you know, it just, I kind of wonder, like, what was the purpose of it? Like, was he trying to annoy, or was he legitimately just thinking he was a cat? I don't know, he was a kid, like I said, his brain is on a different wavelength than ours. That's something I miss about being young, is having a completely different mindset to everything. I think some people do. But... Please go away, please go away. But, uh... What was I talking about? Cats. Um... 
and you had George and the other cat, who was also a black cat, who was also a really lovey-dovey boy, his name was Pickles. Pickles. Not the dog. He, he was a cat. Did he like Pickles? I think? I don't know if you're supposed to give vinegar to a cat, though. Uh, but... uh, well, I'm pretty sure a tiny bit won't hurt him, but I don't know. I don't know what came, what caused him to be named Pickles. I just knew his name was Pickles, and I loved him for it. Um, the orbs are actually back where I came. But uh, he was also a lovey-dovey black cat. He was a really good boy, and I loved him. And it's a shame that he is gone. I mean, Pickles Aww. is also gone, but... Aww. I mean, yeah, they, they were... Vi I knew those cats for, like, almost my entire life. So they lived very long, fulfilling lives. I could say the same thing about my dog. Yeah. That's a shame about animals, though. Most animals do not live nearly as long as humans do. But there is an upside to that. It is that for that animal's entire life, they had a loving home. You know? Yeah. And that's, that's just something you gotta remember when a good pet dies. It's like, you gotta know that they went out with love in their heart and... And that they died happily. And that's, that's something I take uh, reassurance in with uh, George, because... I didn't own Pickles. I knew a friend who had Pickles. But, uh... No, George, he was a family cat at one point. And, uh... It was sad to see him go. But it was that it was that little bit of knowledge thinking about, like... You know... What love we brought into his life was his entire life. And to have an entire life full of love is a good life, in my opinion. Yeah. Also, this topic got really deep, and the music is playing that's probably really silly sounding. Orb! Don't stop. Okay. Yep, yep, I know this already. You can't stop me now. I've already won. I've already won your stupid game. La -di -da, da 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 Kick the boxes, kick the chairs, kick the doors. Open the door, get on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur. The end? The end! You did it. We got the achievement, death. You're really... And that is the final achievement. So we are officially done with It Steals. I'm just gonna turn the music back on. <laughs> well, how long is this video? Oh, oh my god, almost an hour already. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, we did. it did take a while to get through that death mode, because we did die like a bunch. <laughs> it is true. But that's going to do it for this video. We should probably close it out now before it really does get to an hour long. So... Uh, Max, any closing statements? Uh, cats. Cats, they're wonderful little creatures. Adopt one today, if you can. I mean, you you should always consider the planning, the getting a pet. If you're gonna get a pet, prepare for it. If you're not prepared, do not get an animal on a whim, because that will make your life miserable, it'll make the animal's life miserable, no one's gonna walk away happy. So... If you're going to get a pet, be prepared. But if you're going to get a pet, adopt. Please adopt. You do not need to spend an arm and a leg for a pretty, I don't know, North Asian passion cat. That's... No, don't, don't do that. Just, just adopt. It's a lot better. But uh, that's my moral rant aside. This has been Red Luster. And I thank you all for watching. Signing out. See you next time.